They've carved out fantastic careers in the world of acting and music, but together they're setting the stage alight in this hit musical. Please welcome the stars of Legally Blonde, Sharon Smith, Jungle James, and Bruce and the Dog. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Again. I'm very well. Look, brought the dog with you. Now I came to see this show two weeks ago. I got face ache. It just because you're so busy laughing and smiling and, and being blown away by it. It's quite astonishing. Oh, but these you. dogs you've got, Bruce of the P the um, Chihuahua, yeah. and you've got a bulldog as well. Yeah. Got, yeah, we've got. Well, we've actually got two bulldogs and four Chihuahuas. They take it in turns when they get tired. Okay, <laughs> nice. So you have to get on with them, Sharon, presumably. Do you? I do. I play sleepover. They all come and stay at my house. It's very sweet. They stay <laughs> in my bed and everything. Um, so, yeah, I get to take them home with me to bond. Bless. Oh. Now, I spoke to you a few weeks before the show opened. <laughs> and you were quite apprehensive that it was going to be it. But, Duncan, it seems to have turned into an absolute smash. It was packed the night out there midweek. It's done so well. I think it's done better than anybody expected. Mm. Um, and every night it's just sold out and there's queues outside the stage door. And it's just been a fantastic buzz from day one. And, you know, I think because it is a really good, uplifting, happy show. And as you said, you had face because you're laughing from mm. the beginning right through to the end. And, and, and it's nice to go out and be entertained. It was very interesting reading the critics. Um, because I, I had a daughter who went to a preview, so I've got another daughter yet to take, and we all said, you've got to go, because this is fab. But I thought, and the critics said, I thought, because she said, it's terribly fluffy and it's fabulous, and you've got to go, it. Dad. And I thought, what will the critics say? Mercifully, they took it in the spirit with which it was yep. put out there and said, it's just a buzz. I know, well, we couldn't believe that. Oh, in fact, no. one of them said, oh, I tried and tried to hate this show, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we couldn't believe it. And yeah. actually, you know, like, the cast really got a lot of praise and we were all thrilled. But it's a, such a great team at the Savoy there that do the show. The wigs, wardrobe, everyone involved Everybody. is like... It's a really slick show, so it's thanks yeah. to them as well. But so. you particularly, are you exhausted? Because you're hardly off Sheridan in this thing. You're in another outfit and another outfit. And, you're, and <laughs> it's not exactly laid back, is it? It's all full-on stuff. It is. It's great, though. You know, I'm getting paid to sing and dance for a living. It's great. I'm loving it. How do you pace yourself? How do you keep yourself going? I mean, you don't pace yourself, clearly, because you're not holding back at all. But do you have to sleep till about five o'clock or something? <laughs> I kind of just get up and then go and do the show. I don't do much else. But, yeah. but it's great. Once you're out there, I've, kinda, I've got, like, 18 songs and 16 costume changes. So I don't have time to think. I just kind of get on there and do it it's, but it's crazy. so much fun this girl works so hard and i've got to say it wouldn't be as a success if it wasn't for this one oh, she's please. superb no you I'll are you later. well of course <laughs> but you're, i can see why you're trying to ingratiate yourself now because you're the one in it that we don't like aren't you yes i play yeah. you're, um, you're the one who dumps her to I go off to law school lady. yeah <laughs> and then um uh, and the bit that you saw the performance well, we shall be seeing. Oh, you shall be seeing. Um, we shall be seeing. Um, that's, that's the part where Sheridan's, I've dumped her, I go to Harvard, and then she wants to get into Harvard Law School to follow me there, and it's the big kind of shebang to try and get in. Yeah, yeah it kind of makes it, when you take a number out of a show, it doesn't really make that much sense. So the song we're going to do later is yeah. where my character wants to get into Harvard, and she has no qualifications at all, hasn't done an essay, and she turns up to convince these professors at Harvard that she should get in by doing a big dance number. <laughs> So you'll see that later. And it, glitt <laughs> and it glitters and glows. <laughs> but you're clearly having a riot doing oh. it. And it seems to me to yeah. be a very tight company, Duncan. I mean, you, it, yeah. there's no room for any passengers. You all do seem to get on. Do you get That's the nicest thing. You know, I think we all, particularly for me, coming from like a, a boy band background and stuff, and, and I wasn't sure how I would get on with the cast, whether they thought I'd be stunt casted and stuff. You do have that kind of initial, oh, am I going to get on with everybody? Mm. You know, because they're all such amazing, talented people. And, and um, you know, you, day one, we turned up to rehearsals and everybody was so welcoming, especially to me and Sheridan, and, mm. and, and lovely to work with. And all the cast from day one right up to now are just so lovely. And it's great to be involved well, with such a talented you. cast. And a talented you bunch like of you? dogs as well. Really there you are. Nice. I know you're going to run it wrong because it's absolutely packed. So go and see it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Sheridan you. Smith and Duncan James. Thank you. I'm going